Okay, hello there, it is Tyler here. And today I'm not going to be doing a music tutorial, this is just going to be something else. And I just wanted to kind of detail my experiences in cloning a disk drive, in case they can be of use to somebody else, who may have come by the same issues or confusion sort of stuff that I went through in doing this. And I by no means am an expert at this sort of thing, but I just kind of want to go through what I did and how I finally got it to work. So if somebody is stumped, they can just listen to this and kind of have an idea what might be something to fix that. Or at least get you another step moving. So starting from the beginning, I had this hard drive that I was using originally. A Western Digital terabyte hard drive that I just had running since I built my computer a number of years ago. Like five. And it was fine, but my computer started to freeze up a little bit and I was kind of worried that that might be the hard drive and I didn't want it to fail on me. So I looked into getting another one and I wasn't quite ready to do something with an SSD because that's a little bit more expensive than I wanted to spend for my purposes. So I went over to this 2 terabyte Fire CUDA solid state hybrid drive which supposedly is a little bit faster. I've been using it, gotten it to work and doesn't seem immensely faster yet anyway. I think it gets better over time. But either way, I got it working finally. And no matter what, it is an extra terabyte of space that I can use. But there was plenty of steps for me to go through to get there. And we'll talk about that. But what I wanted to do was migrate everything on my terabyte hard drive to the two terabyte hard drive so that I could have all my operating system and all of everything that I have all my programs, all my plugins, etc., everything that I have could still work as is, and the only way to do that is to clone your drive. And so I looked up some tutorials on how to do that and still get everything to work, and they all pointed me to this Macrium Reflect free cloning software. And they say that it is super simple, nothing too difficult, and it certainly seemed like that was going to be the case as I was using it, but as I kept cloning my drive... I got failures when I tried to boot back up. And at that point, I tried to restore it with a bootable media made for Windows 10 to see if that would repair the boot, and it did not. And so I went into the command prompt to try to type in some code that might fix it, going through tutorials on my phone, looking at my computer, trying to fix this up. And that did not work either. I got a bunch of errors like the... Uh, Boot Rec Fix Boot, I think, was the one that was not working for me. That one said access was denied. And so I looked up reasons that might be, and it just never really lined up, and I couldn't figure out what that was doing. And so I tried cloning again. That did not work. And Macrium Reflect just didn't work. And I don't think that the reason it didn't work really made sense because I've seen plenty of people use it without any trouble, but for whatever reason, in my purpose, it did not clone successfully. At least enough that it would boot. So I moved over to try another cloning software, this Aomi Backupper, and it works pretty similarly. The free version doesn't let you do a system clone, but I don't really know what that meant anyway, so I did this disk clone. And when I first started, it just wouldn't start the clone at all. It said it failed before it even started. And at that point, I looked up the error code it was giving me. I believe it was 4140 or something like that. But it said to uninstall the program, reinstall, and then try again. Actually, and then restart and then try again. And so I tried that. I had the same issue. It wouldn't start gave me the same error message, and so I looked it up again. It said to uninstall, restart, reinstall, restart, and then try again. So I tried that, and I think that was when it actually started working. I had to basically restart after every step I did in the process, so that was very time-consuming. But I did get, at that point, my disk to clone correctly, or at least it would start. I got it through, I got a successful, everything cloned over, it took about two and a half hours or so. 
And then when that was finally done, I unplugged my old hard drive and then had it boot from the new one. And it did boot successfully. It got all the way through. Everything was fine. But I had not resized the partitions to be fully utilized. And so I had exactly the same sized partitions and everything as I had in my old drive. And I thought, why have an extra terabyte if I just don't use it like that? So at that point, I tried to get a new software to resize everything. And that software, I believe, is gone now. I uninstalled it. or Actually, I didn't even uninstall it. It's just gone because I had to re-clone my drive. Because whatever I used for that, I don't remember the name of it. But it was not the Windows Partition Manager. It was... I can't remember what it was called. Some sort of Partition Manager. Um, Partition Master, I think it was. Something like that. Which supposedly works fine, but when I did it, I had to... Or I tried to resize my drives, or my partitions, and max them out so that I had full partition usage. And I think that is the way to go when you are on a Windows computer. Because I don't think you use the unused space in a drive. But anyway, uh, so I resized my drives in that program, and then that took another, I don't know, probably a couple hours, and then it restarted, couldn't boot, did all the same stuff, tried to go through the coding and the command prompt, and then the Windows bootable USB, try to reinstall or fix the boot processes, and none of them worked, access denied, all that same stuff in the command prompt. The fix boot didn't work. The fix MBR didn't work. The master boot record. None of that stuff worked. So it turns out that was kaput. So I went back to my old hard drive, recloned it using the Aomi backupper, back to the new drive. But this time, there was a option in... Uh, I don't. Ha- I can't select it again because I don't have my other drive in. But it was an option to resize drives to fit available space. And so when I cloned it over, it automatically did that. And it finally worked where I had all of my space utilized in the partitions. And it actually boots okay. And at that point, I all of my programs work. I can open Fruity Loops. I can do whatever. Have... All of my different plugins still work without issue. Might take a little while, but they all open. My licensing works. I haven't had any trouble with any of my plugins that I've bought and had to do any licensing or any of my programs that I've bought and had to unlock in whatever way. And I think it's because it's uh, linked to the CPU or identified somehow that way. I don't know exactly how everything works, but I know that cloning the drive, every program should work exactly as it did before, and that is indeed what happened. I could open up any of my files. If I had tabs saved in my Chrome or whatever, they opened up exactly the same as I had them before I cloned it. So it is essentially as if I just turned off the computer and turned it back on, except for I had a new hard drive. So, In that sense, I finally got my drive cloned over, everything worked nicely, and now I have supposedly a better drive that is faster and should work better. I don't think that my old drive was actually failing, because I still had a freeze uh, when I moved over to the new drive, so I don't think it was the hard drive that was actually the issue. I ran like a registry scan and a couple things like that, and so far so good on that front. Could have just been something messed up somewhere or other. Too many old programs or just junk needed to be cleared out. But at any rate, I did want to get a new hard drive, and my startup time was super slow, so hopefully this uh, will improve that. But at any rate, I do have... A uh, perfect backup of all of this stuff in my old hard drive if I need to go back to it. Or I could have wiped it and used it as storage or whatever, but I think I'm just going to keep it as a backup in case this one ever fails. And I just have all my same stuff on it, and it's just a clone of the drive. Granted, this would be a little bit different since I've used it, but everything as it is right now is as it should be. So I am happy about that. 
So I don't know if this video is actually that useful to everybody, and I know it's a little bit different from everything I did, but I just kind of wanted to detail some of the programs I used, some of the issues I ran into so that anybody looking at similar things might do that. And if you actually made it this far, thank you for listening, and uh, we'll see about getting into some more videos later. Hopefully this helped you out. If this has been something you're trying to figure out yourself and have been browsing the web, I know that is what I had to do quite a bit and look at a lot of things that I had no idea about. But if the things that I did are similar to the things that you did, maybe I can make the process a bit easier for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in more videos. All right, bye-bye.